Guys, this is Barnway Pro Box Respect TKO. I'm here with Louis Darling, chilling in the sun. Louis, how you doing? You alright? I'm melting, Palm. You're melting? I'm melting. Mate, I'm melting. I've come out in a friggin' hoodie and I thought it was going to be 10 degrees. <laughs> so uh, now we've got 23, so we shouldn't moan too much, I think. No, nah, beats yeah. weather though, isn't it? Good lunch as well. Yeah. So thank Dining. you for that. Sienna's dining in Strood yeah, High let's, Street. Well, let's Strood. give a little shout out to Sienna's uh, in Strood. <laughs> That's the owner, Julie. Come and see her, guys, if you want a nice meal. Just had a nice meal down here. Louis, your last fight was in March. Yep. Down in Swallows, Leisure Centre. Mm -hmm. uh, just tell me what's going on since then. You're obviously still in training, though. Looking good. Yeah, I, uh, I had a meeting with a British boxing board to get my licence. They've granted me my licence back, so I've just got to do my medical. Excellent. Um, and then, yeah, we're back in September. Okay, cool. So, you're still in training with your trainer, Mark Osborne. Yep. Um, Anything different happening in training? Uh, you working on any different stuff? Or? Yeah, like, 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 as the weight's coming down, I've been able to do a lot more. So I've got Waddy involved, like Waddy's helping me training yeah. at the gym as well. Um, Terry Coulter, you know, so I can't really give too much away, but it's, yeah. yeah, things are looking up. Yeah, that's quality, quality uh, training inspiring there with uh, Terry Coulter and obviously Southern Area Cruiserweight Champion, Waddy Camacho. Yeah. Shout out to Waddy. Mate, just for the views, um, I obviously know because that's when I went and met you first. Just tell them how much weight you've lost since, uh, uh, since when the I was start of the year, right? And I was 19, 19 and a half stone. I'm now sitting at about 16 and a half. Wow, fantastic, so, fantastic. Yes. So, what are you, once uh, once you're out in September, what is the plan? Is it campaign at heavyweight or at cruiserweight? No, cruiser. Cruiser? Yeah. So, you're going to get yourself down to 14 stone too? Yep. Wow, fantastic, mate. Well, you've got time, haven't you? Yeah, I mean, I've got plenty of time. I've got till September. I want to get down as quickly as I possible, but obviously as safe as I can. Yeah. Um, but I think there's just more opportunity in the cruiserweight division. Heavyweights are just too big. They're all coming at like six foot sixes, six foot sevens. It's really come light as well at the moment, the cruiserweight division. And I know it's had, uh, it's had some um, limelight, if you, fr if you can say that, thrown on by the World Boxing Super Series as well. Yeah. Um, are you keeping an eye on that at all? Yeah, it's, I think that you've got what well, that's uh, Groves and Smith in the final, isn't it? That's uh, super middleweight, but you've got oh, the cruiserweight. It? Yeah, you've I got the cruiserweight. Know there was a cruiserweight. Yeah, oh, yeah, wow. this cruiserweight division in there. Um, you know, but you know, even even in uh, Steve Goodwin, if we turn to Steve Goodwin, your uh, manager promoter mm. at the moment, he's uh, I think he's probably got more cruiserweights than any guys at the moment, isn't he? Yeah, well, <laughs> when we went up to have the meeting with him, he said about like heavyweight. It's just this is. Health-wise and everything else, personally for me, it's, it's, it's a no-go. Yeah. I said they're all too big, they're all too heavy. But cruiserweight, I can get down to Fortnite's down comfortably. I boxed as a pro before at cruiserweight. Yeah. Made the weight comfortably, so, so yeah. Yeah, you know, they're big guys. I mean, you're a big guy yourself, but obviously some of these guys, as you say, rightly so, 17 and a half, 18 stone, and that's their fighting weight. Exactly. So, whereas uh, you'll be down at cruiserweight. It's good. Is there any... I suppose it's a bit too early, but any news on a potential opponent or opponents uh, or nothing yet? Nothing as yet. Um, I leave obviously leave that to Steve. He knows what he's doing. Yeah. He knows when the time's right and when the time ain't. So you know, whoever he picks is who he picks, and we're getting there and we do the business. Excellent, excellent. Is there anything else you want to uh, talk about? Anything else going on? Uh, no, I'd like What's to give a quick shout out to my sponsors. Uh, yep. Triple A Civil Engineering. Uh, JJL Construction, Car Shop Strode, uh, Medway Metal Finishing, NA Carpets and Flooring, um, and SJ Group. Obviously, without them, I won't be able to do what I do. Yeah. And obviously, Sienna's little diet, Sienna's diner. Yeah. Sit Tesco's for Julie, for always cooking me my food. And anybody who fancies a bit of training and sparring can yeah. come down to the gym. And obviously, Spartans. Spartans. Gym. Yeah, um, we're trying to start up a program down the gym at the minute for um, unprivileged children. Um, obviously, some some parents can't afford to send their kids to the gyms and because stuff. We, we, yeah, we've got a program. We're looking at starting a program soon, so we can get we can cater for everyone, so we can get children good stuff in the gym. And we're also looking at doing something with the police as well with the gym. Okay. So, but I can't elaborate on that too much. Well, listen, all sounds very good. Uh, I look forward to sort of catching up between now and September yeah. as well. Good luck with those, um, all those good causes and initiatives you're putting together. And uh, let's catch up soon, mate. Definitely. And then now uh, you can get out of the sun. <laughs> yeah, stop knowing. <laughs> See you later, Louis. Take care. See you later, mate.